Hey Ron, NMSU business professor David Clements has publicly posted and spoken out against vaccine and mass mandates. At a hearing posted by Clements, he said he would not follow vaccine mandates or wear a mask. After reaching out to NMSU, we found out Clements has been terminated. However, they did not give us a reason to why. But here at UNM, they tell us that's not the case. A majority of students and faculty are following mandates here. UNM is home to over 20,000 students. Those students are required to prove COVID-19 vaccine status. Our students are about 98% compliant, meaning they've gotten the vaccination or they've gotten some type of exemption, either that they're fully remote um, and receive an exemption for that or a med medical or religious exemption. There are over 400 UNM students that have not provided vaccine status or exemptions. 30 have opted for weekly testing throughout the semester, but that won't be an option next semester. Faculty are, I mean, they're over 99% compliant. I mean, we have maybe one or two that we're working with right now, but um, our faculty are, are have they've led the way in um, compliance with our with our vaccine. Blair says there are about five staff members going through the separation process. When it comes to faculty, two are going through the process, but that could change. It's a process, so things could change. Um, but nobody that I, I mean, they haven't gotten to the point where anybody has been separated from the university. The spokesperson for UNM says students that are doing weekly testing this semester will have to either get vaccinated or provide an exemption in order to enroll into classes for the spring semester. Live at UNM Doc, Duck Pond, Stephanie Muniz, KOAT Action 7 News. UNM had its last COVID-19 clinic on campus on September 30th.